Welcome back to the Punk Uncle Show. I am in Bend, Oregon at Project 321. And I'm with Jake, the founder and owner, the designer of these amazing hubs. And today he's gonna show me how to change the end caps on a front Project 321 hub. Ah! All right, so Jake, why would I need to change the end caps on my front hub? Yeah, so probably I'll say 70 or 80% of our uh, customers are going from a rock shock to a Fox or a Fox to a rock shock, in which case they want to use or stop using the torque caps, which is a larger end cap that allows uh, for a larger contact surface. Um, if you're a rock shock rider, you're probably familiar with that. Um, it, uh, the other 30% are going from a 12 to a 15 uh, through axle on their, oh, okay. on their fork. That's usually uh, uh, gravel bikes. Uh, some of the newer ones are 15. Um, and so there's a need. Uh, occasionally, uh, a customer will actually want to convert their um, 100 millimeter axle to a 110 boost. And we have, a, we have an adapter kit for that. Wow. And in that is an end cap that is five millimeters longer. So a um, number of reasons you might want to do this. And, um, it's a fairly easy uh, task, um, but there's a few tricks, so okay. we'll go over it. Okay, so what's the first step, Jake? First step, we gotta pop out the old end caps that don't fit our new fork. Okay. So, first thing we're gonna do, I'll hand you this. You're gonna slide that through the hub, and it's gonna catch on the inside of the end cap on the other side. So, right there. Oh, okay. And then, you're just gonna tap that thing out. Now the only thing holding these in is O-rings. So it'll take a little bit of... Uh, <laughs> what's, the, what's the best way to do that? Maybe like that? Yep, that's okay. Good. Pop right out, yep. Okay. And then much easier actually to do the second one because you can see. Same operation from the opposite side, yeah. right? So we pulled out the 12 millimeter and we're gonna put in the 15. Um, when you order your end caps from us, uh, they'll come with an O-ring installed, but um, I'm gonna install one just in case somebody for some reason loses one, breaks one, or wants to install a new one at any time. And that's it. And what we're gonna do, you'll notice a lot of grease on these. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply some grease to these O-rings because it will help them go in and it will help them come out when the time comes. And you almost can't put too much to be honest with you. Now is there a left and right or are they They're identical. ambidextrous? Yep. Okay. So we just get a little grease on these O-rings so they go in nice and easy. But before we press those in, we're going to take our bearing press. Have you used one of these? No. So we use a basic uh, bearing press with 6805 bearing uh, drifts. Um, they're available online or anywhere. A number of people make them. Um, and so what we're going to do, because sometimes when you pop these end caps out, it'll pull the bearing out just a little bit. And for everything to be nice and snug and have no play, those bearings need to be bottomed out against this bearing spacer inside here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to slide this in on one side. Uh, we've got a 6805 bearing drift on one side. We're going to put our 6805 bearing drift on the other side. And these may have not even moved. It's just good practice to uh, press these in and make sure they're seated properly so before we put the on. new uh, end caps in. So, yep. yep. And you can just squeeze it, just medium. Yep, that's it. Okay. And so, probably they didn't even move out. But um, it's always a good idea to do this. And if they had moved at all, the issue would be the end caps wouldn't get in all the way, basically. No, they'd go in fine, and then you'd feel a little play uh, once you mounted it on your fork. Okay. Or yeah, possibly. So now we're going to take our 15 mil <clears throat> end caps and just pop them right in. Ready to be mounted? Go ride. 
that's it. It's that easy. So a pretty simple thing to complete if you have the correct tools, but it is something that you may find yourself needing to do at some point. Thanks for joining us. Thanks to Jake for uh, giving us this little lesson. Make sure to like and subscribe and go to project321.com to check out these awesome hubs.